Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Little Craft Beer today. We've got a beer from Beer at Tocco Mato, and it's a bottle of the Dr. Caligari. It's been described as an expressionist raspberry nightmare, and it's their own take on a traditional German style. Slightly sour, loaded with lots of fresh raspberries. So, I'm gonna hazard a guess that this well may be, very well may be, a Raspberry Berliner Weiss. Uh, there's a look at the bottle cap. It's 6.3% ABV. Look at it, it even looks a little bit kind of raspberry-ish in the glass, in the bottle. Look at that. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Ooh, yes, it's quite carbonated there. A little bit of smoke on the opening. Oh, look at this, look at the colour. It is pink. Listen. Oh, pink beer with, look at that. I'm sure that's raspberry floating around. Lots of it here, look at that. So a slightly hazy raspberry colored beer the, the head has dissipated very quickly. 6.3% ABV. Should we get the aroma? This this just looks fantastic. Oh yes, without a shadow of a doubt. Raspberry Berliner Weiss. Oh. This is just... <laughs> it smells super kind of fruity raspberry salty and sour all in the same all in the same breath should we dive in cheers oh. <laughs> Stone of the Crows, Stone of the Crows, what an awesome, awesome, awesome beer then. Um, yes, you get that raspberry fruit. It, do you know when you bite into a raspberry and it, and it kind of somehow dries your mouth? It's instantly done that. That kind of salty, bullion of ice, raspberry, grainy, malty, flavor is just so and the secret to a Berliner Weiss I think the reason why they're so popular is that they're so drinkable they are so thin juicy and refreshing especially with fresh fruits added to the beer and because the flavor is generally coming from the sourness the, the the I think it's lactobacillus that they use to sour the beer we leave it for 24 hours. Uh, this lactose bacillus in the in the in the mash, and then they transfer and boil and whatnot after that. But it generates, it pushes the yeast in another direction. I, I brewed a Berlin of ice with Lagerfeld and microbrewery just about three weeks ago, and I was speaking to the brewery, the brewery technician, uh, the master brewer, if you like, Benjamin and Rooney, and they were saying that that this. Lactobacillus, the yeast wants to do this particular thing to the beer and the Lactobacillus kind of says, no, you're not doing that, you're doing this, you're doing something else. And instead it sours it. Um, it's a milk-based product that the, the, the Lactobacillus is. Um, and it's a great concept. I mean, you could do this in 24 hours, sour, sour a beer, which is just great. Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. It's just so full of raspberry, sour, Fruity, salty, 
wonderful flavours. Um, it's not going to be that much on the back because it's all in Italian, but yeah, this is the first time I've tried an Italian sour beer. And I'm just standing here wondering how the Italians are going to take to this. The Italians generally get, in the summer months, it gets up to 40 degrees in Italy. And I don't think I could choose a better beer style than this to refresh yourselves with in Italy. So I'm just wondering if this is one of their most popular beers at Beer de Tocomato. Dr. Carl Gladi, Raspberry Nightmare. 6.3% ABV, let's give it a rating. So, to look at the beer, yes, it looks like a Berlin of Ice. You don't get ahead with the Berlin of Ice. Uh, the aroma is great, the, the, the colour of the beer is great, and the taste, yeah, it's kind of just out of this world. I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 for Milo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom and cheers.